this is reflection video number nine um the performances so show one um went well considering the amount of nerves everyone had i personally was so nervous um especially i had a few people in the audience each night and so the first night getting ready um backstage was very nerve-wracking and unfortunately i did forget to go and take on a stool so last minute i ran around and i did it everything was fine but i completely forgot that i needed to take a stool off stage and that was the scene in the dress run i was worried about forgetting if i didn't check my sheet and i tried i did try but that didn't work and i think my nerves were like very very high that night um but one positive i would say about show one is because my end scene has got a lot in it i kind of have a quick change and then i have a movement section then i have to run around and i'm straight on for a fight and then i have to run round and i have to do my very high emotion scene um which is when anna gets taken away to an asylum by gabriel and i didn't realize how much my adrenaline was pumping and it was something i had to get used to because the scene was very emotionally like intact and it was very heightened um and it was something that what i wasn't used to and i didn't feel that kind of adrenaline as much in the dress runs but i definitely felt it 100 percent in show one um but unfortunately we had the only like criticism about show one was that the way after that high emotion scene so after i'd calmed down and learned that how i needed to regain myself back because that was something that i really struggled with and actually we found out for show two that actually just having a stool backstage some water um just really calmed me down because my breathing was so heightened and i was so like distressed um that we needed to find a way for me to be able to calm down before going on to say my final goodbye to the three girls however it always felt unclear to me um like in the last um in the last dress run i felt like it wasn't clear enough and a piece of feedback i did get was that that needed to be more clear so when i turned around what well, i didn't turn around i did a trust fall to the girls and i walked off stage and apparently that wasn't clear enough so for show two um we changed the movement so in show two i instead of just kind of walking off i turned around and we had a moment where i just looked at the three girls and the professor um and made it look like this was my final goodbye and i go on in my period costume rather than my boxing outfit and we just made it a lot clearer that that was my goodbye i felt like just walking off just made no sense and it was very like strange and confusing and that section was actually something that went wrong a few times in the dress run um because people forgot to be on stage for the dress ball and but um after for show two when we started making everything more clear it was a lot easier for everyone to kind of understand what was going on um, but show two, I felt that Anna came out in me more. I felt like that was the night where I wasn't myself for the entire two hours. Um, it feels like a complete blank show two. I was very in character the entire time. And I really wanted to make sure that my emotions were in her. And it did feel like a blank because I felt so much more like her. And I felt like I really became her. For show two it was one of my best nights i think and both me and my scene partner jacobs like chemistry it was all on another level and we really hyped it up for show two and we don't know why but we both came off it saying how incredible like the connection was between us we were so proud of how we managed to just be in these characters for the entire time and we were really in the moment and everything felt so live and so real and so i'm hoping that came across to the audience in show two because it felt like everything was happening for the first time for me um and so my emotions for my end scene was a lot higher and that was probably the best night i'd ever done it um and i was able then to come off stage and i knew how to calm down so it was a really smooth transition all of it um 
the only problem we did have was the bleeding was a lot slower so the section where it's kind of my responsibility to know when to start the women's movement um it was a lot slower so I took my time and I I did feel like I was starting to get the hang of when it was ready and when because I didn't want to end it too soon and I didn't want to prolong it and it be like way too long um so that was something that I was a bit worried about in the moment I wasn't quite sure when to go but I think I did get it um I don't think anything massively went wrong in show two show two was one of the smoothest nights um show three was more emotion generally like just within each of us um obviously it was the last night of us performing together so it was already very upsetting um but i feel like because our director came to us before and was like i have full trust in you all um i don't need to be here tonight um i'm gonna leave and i'm not gonna watch it and we were all very shocked that's never happened to me before but it was nice hearing her know that she had trust in the show and she had trust in us that we were able to do it alone and we did do it but I also feel like we played with it so much more and it was like no other show it was one of those shows where things went wrong but we covered really well and things felt more there and alive and so in one of the scenes I meant to be talking about how much Anna's in love with Gabriel and I meant to be smiling at him and the rope the boys were bringing the rope round and he ducks under it and it was just too low and because he's so tall he got his foot caught and he tripped onto the stage and um this was one scene that even without the rope for some reason in the rehearsal room we used to laugh all the time and there was like me the director and Jacob just weren't able to do the scene without laughing and there was no reason for it and so when he tripped on stage it just immediately made me laugh because I knew that this was something that kept happening with this scene but it hadn't happened in like a week or any of the tech or any of the dresses and it felt so perfect that it happened on the end night um and we all just kind of had fun with it and we like covered it really well and no one even noticed and it just felt so much more like us it felt like we were prepared we were ready for literally any of it the, sh the how much fun and play was with show three was like no other um and there was even the end scene where i say goodbye like we all were crying because that was the last time i was going to be on stage and for me that was that was really sad and I don't want to like stop performing for months so when I got to turn around and that was my last moment on stage we were all like tearing up and they had another scene to go but um that felt real I felt like I was saying goodbye because that's the last time I'm I'm going to be performing with them so their felt with show three was just full of live emotion show two was full of full character focus and show one was one where we were just getting used to it and it's looking good um but the next two shows are just going to take it to another level so overall all three shows went really well but they all did have their ups and downs and um i was really proud of all three of my performances no matter what went wrong or what um went good i think it all we all pulled together as a cast <laughs>